Welcome to Retro Box Breaks. This is a channel where we open up baseball card boxes from the 80s and 90s. Today we're going to open up a box of 1992 score. So not any huge name rookies in this one. This one's a Series 1. There is a very long shot of a um, Joe DiMaggio card and an even longer shot of a signed version. So... Um, <clears throat> We'll be watching for that, obviously, but King Griffey Jr. is kind of the biggest card in here. He's got his regular set card and a uh, big head um, all-star card, so we'll be uh, looking for those. So let's uh, get to it. So it looks like uh, we're going to have something here in the first pack. There it is, Cal Ripken Jr. all-star card. So this is the big head um, cards I was talking about. There's a Ken, Ken Griffey Jr. version as well. Um, so let's see if anything else is in here. There's a Larry Walker. Uh, let's see the last card. There we go. So there's the uh, Big Head All-Star cards that I mentioned. And that's a Cal Ripken Jr. Pre pretty good pull out of the first pack. Not too bad. We're going to skip a few things there. And then Looks like we're on about pack three here. We already got something something else. Ah, King Griffey Jr. There you go. That's the big hit of the box. <clears throat> the King Griffey Jr. I actually kind of like the all-star card better just because of the art on it. But um, there he is in all his glory. 1992 score. or not? Uh, yeah, 92 score uh, King Griffey Jr. Pretty cool. See if anything else is in the pack here. Does not look like it. So moving on to the next one. So two packs in a row here. We must have something. Let's see what we got here. Boom! Another King Griffey Jr. Wow. Back-to-back -back Griffeys. What are the odds of that? I mean, even in even in the 90s with the duplication, that's got to be pretty, pretty rare. Had a Juan Gonzalez there. There we go. We'll go ahead and pull that out. Let's see if there's anything else in the pack here. Not seeing anything. All right. So are we going for three packs in a row with something, something to pull out of it worth mentioning? We might be. Oh, wait. No. Forgot to mention. Uh, turns out Score was trying to. Uh, replicate some 89 upper deck glory with making King Griffey Jr. the first card in the set. I don't know that that really worked out for him uh, over the long term here since these boxes are still pretty darn cheap. Skipped a few more packs. Here we go. Let's see what we get out of this one. Definitely not the all-star card that we're looking for. Nolan Ryan. There we go. Always love pulling Nolan Ryan out. He's always a uh, fun pull. Let's see. I think we're going to skip a few more packs here. Get to some more good stuff. Well, I mean, we've already gotten the Griffey. And um, really the only other card in here I'm looking for anyways is the Big Head All-Star of Griffey. Let's see if maybe that is it right here. Oh, no. Another Big Head All-Star, Cal Ripken Jr. and that uh, Leo Gomez. Seems to pop up a whole bunch of times in the in these packs. Got another Nolan Ryan, a no-hitter. That's pretty cool. Here we go. I'm feeling it. Maybe that maybe this is the one with the Griffey big head. Oh, there it is, right there. The King Griffey Jr. All-Star card. Definitely remember this from when I was a kid. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, with the uh, caricature there. Pretty cool. Oh, so this is a pretty neat card here. This um, Morse code looking stuff. The weird stuff you find online. Apparently this either says Q-E-N or A-A-E-Y. Depending on which way you read it. I don't know. Just a weird thing that you find in all these old cards. Um, odds are you're not going to find that stuff in the cards of today. As high quality as they are. Alright, so we're getting we're getting towards the end of the box here. Let's see what we got in this one. Honestly, at this point, we're just looking for duplicates of King Griffey Jr. Let's see what we got. There we go. Let's have a third King Griffey Jr. 
There we go. If you're going to do duplication, that's not a bad one to get. Is there anything else in here? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> the Griffey All-Star right there on, uh, on the back. Is that the last card? Anyways, two Griffeys, one pack. Man, that, that would have been a monster pull back in 92, I'm sure. Going to zip through a few more of these. Uh-oh, we stopped again. Maybe another Griffey. Who knows? Oh, do you see it? Do you see it? I, honestly, my heart is racing right here. Do you see that non-white border? So every card we pulled up to this point has been a white border card. That is a non-white border card. Let me get the focus in here. There you go. You can see it very clearly. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be that uh, Joe DiMaggio or not, but it's been it's our best uh, chance so far. Let's uh, kind of go through the cards, see if anything else is in here. Kind of take a little bit slow, savor the suspense. Here we go. Just a couple more cards to it. Is this it? Is this a DiMaggio? Uh, Ryan Sandberg dream team. I'll tell you what, my heart was racing there. Not quite what, what I expected. I, honestly, I thought the dream teams were only in the uh, series two or three or whatever the other series last series is. So I guess you can get the dream teams out of the series one and there's a Ryan Sandberg, not the DiMaggio we were hoping for, but still pretty exciting. Nonetheless, let's uh, take a quick run through all the cards we just pulled over the last few minutes here. Got some big heads of Griffey and Cal Ripken. Got the King Griffey Juniors, all three of those. Got like four Juan Gonzalez. I know he's not a big, a big hitter, a big hitter as far as value or anything, but I like pulling them out anyways. Got a couple of Nolan Ryan's there. And that's a box of 1992 score uh, with the possibility of a DiMaggio, which we did not get in this particular case. If you uh, like the video, make sure and hit that like. And uh, if you want to see some more, hit the subscribe. And we'll see you next time.